Hi guys, this is the Adobe, Adobe Tutorials, and um, first of all, this is my first video, so I just wanted to welcome you to uh, my channel and tell you my purpose, kind of. It's pretty obvious, so I'm going to be working with um, some applications from Adobe, like uh, Photoshop, Bridge, and Fireworks. Just giving you some tutorials, and on some iPhone applications, I might do some reviews, and I'll tech stuff like that. Um, today, the tutorial I'm going to be giving you is actually how to make a reflection effect on Adobe Photoshop CS4. So um, I already have Photoshop open here and I also today it's going to be really basic. I'm not going to do any huge effects and whatnot. I just went on Google Images and I searched for a basketball and I got this one. It says girls basketball. I don't know. It's a basketball. So I'm using that one. And I'm just going to make um, start off by going to File, New, and then for my new dimensions, I'm going to make it 1200 by 1200. This is just a demonstration, so it's just demonstration of widths. And it's good for my screen recorder's um, dimensions, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, up here, and I'm going to go Place. And this will be a, this will allow you to place an image onto your um, onto your uh, blank canvas here. So I'm going to go to basketball. It's a PNG fireworks. It just says fireworks there because that's the uh, that's the uh, main that's the default it can run on. But uh, even if it says that, you can still open it in Photoshop. I when I searched basketball, notice how I searched PNG. PNG is just a file format instead of JPEG. It just is a it's just the picture. It doesn't have a white background. So when I insert it, you'll see here. If I go to basketball place. And wait, I'm gonna shrink that down. Hold shift. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna go to this bottom corner here. Hold on, it's pretty good. Okay. Shift, bottom corner, bring that down. That keeps its uh, ratios and dimensions but just shrinks it down instead of just uh, shrinking it all over the place. Uh, I can probably shrink that down even a little more. Okay. Oh, see, you gotta let go of the mouse before you let go of the shift key. Okay, so that's good. Um, to get it out of this, you just gotta go uh, right click and hit place, and there you go. Okay, now, if you go to layers and you open that up, you can see that I have a basketball layer and a background layer that's locked. You gotta keep that background layer, don't delete it or anything, because then you'll just have this checkered background and you need it. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on my basketball layer and I, I'm gonna hit duplicate layer. You can just call this basketball copy because I already named it basketball. And you don't see it because it's on top of it, but you do have two basketballs here. So, right now what's selected is the second one you made. So the second one you made, you're gonna right click. Or, I'm sorry, you're gonna hit Control D. Then you're gonna go up to Edit, Transform. And then you're gonna flip horizontal. I don't know if you saw that. Here, I'll do it again. I'll go to Edit. Sorry, my screen recorder uh, dimensions are off a little bit. And I hit flip horizontal. I'm not gonna do it again because I'll reverse it. And then, when you do that, you're gonna grab this little middle piece here. Let me center this real quick. You're going to grab this middle piece here, right there, and you're going to just drag it down. Then, if you put your mouse um, to the top right of that box there with the picture in it, you see this curved arrow. You're going to click, then you're going to drag it over, and while you're down here in this area, hold shift and it'll automatically go there. Now, before releasing anything, make sure you release the mouse first and then the shift button. And there you go. That's your, um... It already looks like a reflection, but it doesn't because not everything is like a mirror like this with the picture in full quality like that. So, what we're gonna do now is pretty simple. We're gonna, um, place it there. So, we're gonna hit right click and then place 
now it's placed there. Now it allows us to go to our layers, go to basketball copy, FX, and we're gonna go gradient overlay. Click that. That brings us to the screen, okay? Um, if you drag this over, you can see that the default is white to black here under the basketball, and we don't want that, we want it to original colors. So we're gonna go to gradient, and we're gonna go to foreground to transparent. And there you can see that it's a reflection right here. Now you can play with that. Um, you can just by dragging up, it gives it less opacity, and dragging it down, it gives it all the way. It gives it the full version. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit. Hold on. To just about there. And I think that's good. You know, I think that's. Oh, sorry. I exited out of that. Let me do that one more time. play with it. <laughs> Sorry. Then hit OK. And that's how I think I like it. Then you can just go save it as a JPEG or whatever. Or you can add stuff to it. You can drag it around so it's just underneath. Like that. I think that looks a little bit better. And then you can just... And that's, that's it. Um, I hope I helped. And please subscribe because this is a new channel. And um, please rate and comment. That would be much appreciated. And check out my other videos when I make them. <laughs> Thanks.